Hello, it's Vince Danzioni here, and in this short video, I'm going to go through a brand new product which is exclusively available on Derev called Accumulator Options. Uh, now, these can be traded with a demo account or a real account. In this case, I'm going to be using a demo account, and you can trade these on your PC, Mac, um, or via your uh, iPhone. All right, so let's get started. What is an accumulator option? Well, as the name suggests, your profits accumulate. Um, so as it goes along, you will see a growth rate. Now, these are options, so your maximum risk is known, which is your stake. So let's say in this case, I'm gonna use $100. I can't lose any more than $100. Now, what happens here? The trade will keep running until two things happen. Either I take the profit, close it out manually, or I uh, basically get stopped out. Now, that how that will happen is if you look at these barriers here, let me just zoom that up just a touch. Um, these basically are, you will be stopped out if the price hits here. So any accumulated gain plus your stake would be lost. So our key is here that we close the trade before the price hits like you just saw there, it just hit it uh, hit the stop out level. Now we can also take our profits automatically. So you see here, if I say that when I've made $20, I wanna take my profits automatically, then it would do that. Uh, now there is some slippage, but near enough, it will get you there. Normally it'll actually get you a tiny touch more than that. So you know what, let's start. Um, okay, so, so let's look at the growth rate. That's what we can actually choose. So we can either go with 1% growth. Now 1%, what will happen is that is a lower risk, obviously lower growth, and the barriers will be larger. Then we go something like 3%, which is somewhere in the middle, or 5%, which is gonna be the higher growth. And obviously you see the barrier has narrowed down, obviously. It's a risk off with all trading between risk and reward. But on this example, let me go with a high risk, high reward, which is basically 5%. And then we can also choose the products. Now, right now they're available, uh, accumulators are available on the popular volatility indices. Why that is good is because they're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, so there's no worrying about markets opening. And I'm gonna go with the higher volatility, the volatility 100. Now you can of course go with volatility 10, um, which would obviously be less volatile. But I'm gonna go with this example, I'm going with a volatility 100 one second and a 5% as well. All right, so as I've already got it ticked, I will leave that at $20. So let's let's click buy. And what will happen here, and we can see the trade has started running. $10, $15, done. So it's basic, it's automatically closed out, just closed out slightly at $21.55. So it took the profit automatically. I didn't actually take the profit in that case. Now down here, we see the trade's actually still running, it's, it's gone, it's 58 ticks. If we click here, we can see the 100 or so last trades that were open, and you can export that out if you want to. Um, let me also go through another few little features here. Here we can actually take a screen grab or download the data um, in Excel format for those that want to um, obviously look at the numbers. We can also add moving averages, Bollinger Bands, and a few other tools. Now remember accumulators are short dated options. They're gonna last typically, you know, seconds. So you're not gonna use candlesticks or you you know, use long terms. It's really, it's gonna be tick charts. So some of the indicators are not gonna work. Now what I've done here is templates. You can save templates. So just as two examples. On this template here, I've put the RSI and the MACD. Um, so these can be used on um, volatility indices, fairly short term. And I believe on my other one, obviously you can also add moving averages, you can add Bollinger Bands um, to there. Obviously if you want to clear, we can just click clear all. So I've just taken everything off. And you can have multiple templates. I believe on this template, I've got the, uh, no, we had that one already. Let's go to the next one is yeah, this one we've got the rate of change on here as well. So we, we can add we can add multiple indicators as well. Um, so let's just go back to this one here, which was yeah, we'll leave the MACD and the RSI running here as well. So let's go through a few more examples. What I'll do in this case, we'll go with a slightly lower growth rate. So let's go with three percent, somewhere in the middle. 
And also let's bring the volatility down a touch as well. Let's bring it down to say volatility 51 second. And uh, just so you get a different example. And what we're going to do with this trade as well, we're not going to select the take profit. Remember the past, what we did, we used the automatic. This one, we're actually going to do a manual trade. Um, so let's go. So we're going to do $100 stake, 3% growth, and we're going to go with the uh, volatility 50 here. All right, so off we go. And you can see the profits basically accumulating. And right now we're up to near enough 50% profit. Let's take that. Okay, and I automatically did that. Now, if I hadn't done that, and obviously the barrier uh, would have been reached, then I would have lost whatever had accumulated plus my stake. But in this case, as I say, it was safe. Um, now, down here, as I say, the stats are still running. So that particular trade is still running. Now, I don't have to wait for a new round to start. I can come back in again or I can wait until the stats reset. So for instance, when this basically gets um, hits a barrier, you'll see that this will go back down to zero. So like a new round starts again. Um, in fact, there you go. Did you see it? it just went there back to zero. So we just restarted again. So let's go again. Now I also want to show you a losing trade as well. So what I'm going to do with this particular trade, I'm just going to let it run and see what happens there so my wish was granted there did you see what happened and we, we did have about thirty dollars of accumulated uh, profit but of course it hit the barrier range which was there and um, that stopped out the trade and you can see obviously it lost a hundred dollars now the nice thing with Derev, whether you're on a demo account or whether you're on a real account everything is audited every trade has its own ID number there's no question saying, oh, yeah, you know, it didn't stop out or whatever. It's all basically mathematically done. Um, so let's do one more trade and then we'll wrap up. So let's go. So you see, obviously, the growth is slower here because we're on the 3%. Um, and we're also on a less volatile index, which is the volatility 50. Still obviously got some volatility. Um, but it's not as like the swings are not as fast as the hundreds. All right, I'm happy with that. That's near enough, 100%. I took the profit there at 91. So here's what I, I suggest you do um, is obviously you can trade with a demo account, but then you can also go with the real account. Start with as little as $1, uh, make a few trades. I think you'll, you'll like this product. Um, it's very easy to pick up. As I say, you can trade it alongside your other things that you trade with Deriv. Um, and as, as I say, um, because of we're on the derived indices, the synthetics, you can trade any time of the day. And I say you can trade with as little as $1. So that's it. Thanks for watching.